Welcome, one and all, to your weekly pizza part. Oh my goodness, yo! This is this is a very pivotal week. I got a random channel. Some information in my subconscious revealed itself. For those of you who are Gemini's or Gemini Risings watching this, you know that the sun transiting Virgo is illuminating your subconscious and the hidden parts of your soul. What makes up, you know, who your identity is. So, you know, that happened to me the past few days. And if you are familiar with the World War Zero lingo, I have been preaching almost. Let me not say preaching, though, because I ain't preaching to the choir. But I have been sharing. I have been sharing as some of you kind of just are able to recognize certain things. Some of you who I share this World War Zero lingo with, you actually like return information to me like, oh yeah, this is exactly how it is. Here's some extra information you didn't even know. So this is fascinating. Those of you who are Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio, listen up. Because I just spent the last minute and a half leading up to this instead of just being resolute with the point Capricorns are mad right now all right but really I'm very excited because this represents if you think about the world war zero the spiritual war we're fighting this represents the frame wars that I have mentioned in previous videos I kind of teased it this is going to get its own world war zero episode uh, next, I literally had to like push back the schedule of all the episodes I have because I have to address this. So, frame wars, the galactic frame war. When you think of frames, you think of perception. And we are in the second sign of perception, Virgo, which is where all of this gets real. It's no longer theoretical in Gemini, where it's just a thought, it's just an idea that you're telling people, it's not a behavior, it's an applied thought, and things are getting real, and people's very demented belief systems that they have conditioned themselves with are now taking action for real, and you're seeing it through people's behaviors. This is the galactic frame war that is taking place in our galaxy, several solar systems are involved. So this is involving, and again, this is World War Zero lingo, but this is involving goddesses, gods, demons, angels, principalities, higher energetic beings in this invisible energy field that we experience that their beef, their skirmish is affecting us. You know what I'm saying? Just like a world nuclear war will affect certain anthills in the colonies that they're actually taking place in. All right. So when you, the, the most practical way I could break this down, when I make this World War Zero episode, it, it's going to be more uh, broken down. But the best way I can break this down, especially as it applies to this week that I have entitled Reality Check. Let go of your current frame of reality. Some of you will realize it's right. You're not letting it go because it's wrong and you need a new perspective. But given the planet's that we have immutable signs that are influencing and literally changing how we perceive the reality around us. Take this week to completely let go of everything you think you know about reality. Not because it's wrong, not because it's right. This is the week of reality check. The sun is going to be opposing Neptune. And we are triggering a greater phase and and not frame, but uh, a greater chapter. I forgot the actual word for it, but a greater phase of this frame war where <laughs> you have to be very filled with integrity and right about what you believe and the thoughts you think. What you think is hyper manifesting. We have Mercury going retrograde on Jupiter and Venus at the final degrees of Virgo entering Libra. So when I say frame war, I just mean at the most basic level, the constant fight that you have 
with external stimuli that attempts to rearrange your current frame. This doesn't have to be with an enemy. This could, this usually happens with yourself and those you are close with. When you tell yourself that you are a good person and that you are successful and then later doubt creeps in and you tell yourself you're a failure, you're pitiful. That is an internal frame war on yourself. You are actually changing the perceptions that you have over basic stuff. This could be taken to an even greater level where you have, you know, women who aren't necessarily the most skinny, but the frame that's being presented to them through commercials, through people who get um, placed and casted in places of prominence show very skinny, well put together, um, fit woman. And then they cast more overweight, stereotypically bigger woman in other type of roles. That's a frame that's setting an agenda. These are the type of issues that are going to be exploded upon this week. You're going to have the millennials and Generation Y literally arguing with Generation X and the older Pluto Virgo, Pluto Leo people on how we even let these frames get here. How we even let certain social norms become what they are. This is just a small way about how the frame war is going to take place in just this reality alone. It's, it's going to take place on multiple levels, even with people you're, you, you like, even with people you hate. The purpose of the frame war now, I hope I have not lost you because the purpose of the frame war borrows and transitions from the initial phase and front, that was the word, the war front. The front, the initial front of the war was when we had Saturn and Libra, Pluto and Uranus, I'm sorry, Pluto and Capricorn, Uranus and Aries, and it was started with the Cardinals. It always starts with the Cardinals. And this, if you remember 2014, 2010 to like 2014, uh, this represented the stage of your development where you had to battle over who you are. And people were telling you, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. And you had to fight back and be like, no, this is who I am. This is who I am. Now we're shifting into the mutable phase of the war, whereas this is what it is. This is what I believe. This is what's real. So let go of I want to talk about this so much more. I've barely even scratched the surface, but I'm going to have to reserve this for World War Zero episode. But as far as this week, let go of what you believe is real. Let go of all your preconceived notions of reality. Next week, you're going to see what is real present itself, what has changed, what will stay the same, which the truth always stays the same, and the meaning of that. And that is what this week will bless you with. That's all I really have to tell you. There's so much happening. Mercury's going retrograde. Jupiter and Venus are going to move into Libra. But the only thing that really matters is this sun that is opposing Neptune. That's the only thing that's going to take uh, away your mind. You're going to see that certain preconceived notions and presuppositions that you have actually allowed yourself to just go with the flow will completely break down. You know, it's breaking it down. Virgo, the Virgo sun is making you aware of it, but it's Saturn and Mars just snip, recklessly just breaking it down. This is why you just want to let go. Anything you hold on to will make you feel very personal about it. And um, with Venus going into Libra, you're going to be, Venus is going to bless the interactions that you will be aware of later in September when we go into Libra. And that Jupiter will already expand because with astrology, when the sun transits a sign, this is where our conscious as humanity is aware of. And right now we're aware of all the hard work we put into our lifestyles. Ever since Jupiter went into Virgo, some of you will realize the, the awareness and, and how well the behavior and routine you've been doing. Those of you who picked up exercise routines will actually see, oh, wow, it's in Virgo season. I can see the result of my hard work or lack thereof. So when we get into Libra, 
and Venus has already progressed, we're going to see right now, and here's an example, Venus right now when it enters Libra is going to bring all the people in your life you're meant to connect with. It's going to prep the interactions that you're supposed to have with maybe friends or future romantic partners. And then when the sun enters Libra, this is when you're going to be aware of those people. You know how sometimes in life people could be around you, but you're not necessarily aware yet. It's because the sun hasn't illuminated it yet. So this is going to be big. And of course, you know, I have to talk about the new moon in Virgo, but I kind of just want to keep it a secret and not talk about it because it's very overwhelming. This is a new moon eclipse. The only thing sometimes the, the way you can discern the best information is through the simplest advice. Seriously, people. We're at a stage where technology and discoveries in quantum mechanics are allowing us to really change what we thought we knew. So let go of everything you thought was real. That's why we have a week to do this. It's not going to be easy. There's certain things we hold on to, just like the simple notion of gravity. You know what I mean? When you jump, the first thing you're instinctually isn't. To think that you're going to fly, you think you're going to fall back down because of the true tested laws that govern us. I want you to let all that go. I could say you're reprogramming your spirit to accept new things, but that's not even what's happening. Just let it go. You need to suspend your conscious and let go of everything you think you know. You do that this week and... This reality check <laughs> will serve you very well. All else I got to say for real is prepare for World War. Prepare for uh, not World War Three. Prepare for this galactic frame war. You are going to feel it. If you are a Virgo, Libra, or Scorpio, you represent the gateway to higher level consciousness that borders on the galactic and that is aware of these higher level beings. And you're going to be attacked the most because it's in an effort to silence you really like your, what you know, what you can do based with what you know is just the threat. Um, I'm just going to leave the they ambiguous and vague because this applies to a lot of you in your personal lives and you already know who that is. But other than that, this framework is, is going to really involve a lot of spin doctoring, which is the most dangerous phase of this front where and you're going to see. I mean, we're in the prime time for it, the general elections. So you're going to see people say things. This was bad back in the 60s, 50s, just back in the past with the Red Scare and then people just outright lying. This is going to be even worse, despite the fact that social media can quantify things quick. It's not going to stop people from taking bits of what you say and just changing it. All right. Spinning it, making it see, taking excerpts of what you said and not letting the whole thing actually, you know, not, not not letting the whole message be spread. That's going to be rampant this week. I promise you, be careful what you send people because they're not always going to have the best intentions. You send someone a message, all right? They'll screenshot a portion of it and send it to the world or other people and very quickly make people believe you're saying something you didn't even mean. You didn't even mean. All right, that's that's how Mercury retrograde gets down, baby. Let me let me tell you, I'm 13 minutes into this, okay? Like this is this is how petty things can get. So I'm not saying this to make you afraid, but be very mindful of it. Don't allow people to do that to you, okay? And because of the mutable nature of energy, it's not going to take long for people to believe a flat out lie. Think about how many people on a daily basis share a meme they saw on Facebook that wasn't even true. They will share a meme of Gandhi saying, I like porn. And they'll share this like, oh my God, Gandhi was just such a sexually liberated person. Like, yo, this, you think that's bad? Like, hello, <laughs> we're barely even starting. So let go of everything you have taught yourself to know was real not because it's wrong. Some of you will realize, hey, you were more right than you ever thought. Some of you will realize you couldn't have had it any more wrong. This is going to be good because what will enter your heart, mind, and soul as a result of you letting go is real magic. Peace.